March 2007. The Burundi Red Cross launches a pilot project on the mobilization of sustainable locate capacities. After the creation and extension phases of what has been called Village Red Cross units, the latter are now well functioning in all the 17 branches composing the National Society. The aim is to cover all the 2,725 villages of Burundi by the beginning of 2010. For the time being, 1,558 village units representing 58% have been created and are delivering services to the most vulnerable of their respective areas. That has been so since the early periods of the pilot project in question. But what's new today? All the programs and products run by the National Society are spontaneously decentralized at community levels such that local volunteers are the same implementers. The ownership is so real that in the Muramvia branch, for instance, home-based healthcare is now the business of local volunteers who are eager to carry out the duty despite the hilly landscape. Magnifique is a voluntary nurse who offers medical assistance to people living with HIV AIDS in the Buganda zone. Thursday is her service day. She has to go with the social assistants to see her patients. Eventually, they are at the residence of Menedor Manirambona, a widowed woman who suffers from HIV AIDS. Cynthia, her daughter, comes running to hug them. They have become friends through the family. Mukwari <laughs> In the northern branch of Ngozi, the ownership is also noticeable, especially in childhood protection. An old man of Ruamiko village in Ruhororo commune is taking care of a pupil with whom he has no family relationship. He is acting in line with the Burundi Red Cross which has such a project in its programs. Hakizimana Claudette feels at home though her parents are no longer alive. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, class. How are you? Fine. The childhood issue is now in the hands of communities as they have even developed income generating activities in order to sustain their humanitarian action. In a village called Kabuye, Red Cross volunteers relieve one another in feeding either cows or fish while goats are fed in the households hosting vulnerable children. Volunteers are so enthusiastic in serving the most vulnerable that even that twin's mother has joined the team. <laughs> Apart from Gozi, the Childhood Protection Project is currently being implemented in Ruiki and Tibitoke branches. 
still in the northern part of the country. Kayanza is one of the branches where the integrated health project is implemented. Local communities have already taken over in such a way that the ownership is a reality in so far as first, that is participatory hygiene and sanitation transformation methods, for instance, are taught at the grassroots. This is a water source that has been built by Red Cross volunteers in Kinzobe village. They are killing two birds at the very place. They are attending a fast session after clearing the surroundings of the water source. Fast groups are among other duties responsible for collecting essential materials like gravel to make some flat toilet covers. The integrated health product is only in charge of providing cement. In Tamazi village of Muruta commune, 420 toilet covers have already been made. The whole village is soon to be covered as the total population slightly exceeds 500 households. Uh -huh. The ownership of village Red Cross units is also noticeable as far as the protection of the environment, or rather, the fight against climate change is concerned. In the Kirundo branch, volunteers are aware that the protection of the environment is primarily their business. Though Kirundo is one of the driest areas of Burundi, the landscape may soon change. Their community initiatives in this regard are instantly rewarded. That land property is, for instance, a grant from the Busoni Communal Authority in Kirundo. Local volunteers are eager to set up a model tree plantation in the whole province in the Red Cross name. On the other hand, Red Cross volunteers are prepared to take over as far as the management of the four transit camps for expelled people from Tanzania is concerned. A striking example is reported in the Tankuzo province in the east of Burundi where there's a transit camp known as Munzenze. Local volunteers have no problem in welcoming and assisting the country fellows, though donors and other stakeholders are soon withdrawing. <laughs>